uh, they're they're a very tank heavy um, roster, uh, mm-hmm. especially with some new pickups that they've uh, that they've obtained. Um, so with this tank heavy roster, uh, Ryder University is going to be looking to play to the strengths of those tanks. Diva, arguably um, the strongest tank in the game right now, and really helping to enable uh, Grizzly on the Reinhardt, who's uh, kind of gotten some continuous buffs, making uh, making him a really viable competitor uh, in uh, in an era of Overwatch that you know up until recently was dominated by Wrecking Ball's galore. Uh, Oblivion is going to be mirroring it, but the uh, difference <coughs> between these two teams is that while Ryder University opts for the uh, standard rush style DPS, my own college is going to take to the skies with the pharmacy. I won't lie to you though. I'm, I'm very uncomfortable that we don't start out on Shrine, rather Village. Yeah. That's not what the series has been. And we see the Far already doing so much work, but it doesn't even matter when your Reiner gets walled off. Your Diva's not able to help. And it seems that Soggy is truly just being a menace. Showing us, honestly, I think one of the better Maywalls of the entire night. Yeah, and that, again, you know, we've talked a little bit about it. That cooldown ends up being so meaningful. And uh, the problem that Iona College is going to play into is, like, look, once your Ryan gets separated there, um, it's very difficult to overcome that because you don't have the rest of the team behind you. You've got two members who are actually kind of not disengaged, but definitely not in the midline of the formation of the team. Iona College looking to rotate towards mid to give this Pharmacy a fighting chance in this fight. No, I 100% I agree as we see them uh, just looking to move out. That wall is going to block off Iona, and you do get the window. Unfortunately, losing out Oblivion is going to be costing a lot, especially the Shatter. That's 200 damage landing onto your Cassidy, and it seems that Ryder, once again, they are at least building up these ultimates and rotating them beautifully. It's part of the advantage of Ryder University's composition here, uh, and again, going back to their tank-heavy uh, lineup, you know, if you win the ground war, typically uh, it, you don't you don't really need to invest too many more resources in winning that fight, fighting off that pharmacy. So he's coming up on the Deadeye really doesn't have to work so hard against a, a, a pharmacy that you would normally look at and be like, this demands a lot of our attention. He can just kind of poke at them from a distance. I agree. Throw that bomb, they tried to cancel it out, Oblivion's just nice. barely able to survive, Counter-flash. gets peeled in by their own Cassidy, and now Ryder University, they're not looking too good, they have to use that Blizzard to make the difference, and yet Iona continue to walk forward, continue to put on that pressure, Ranger may be able to trade in, but the damage is just not there, and it seems they are going to be collapsing underneath their own weight, Ryder University at least forces this timing into that one fight territory. Yeah, with just a little bit of a margin for error for Iona College, um, who didn't have to spend... Alright, Keys, let's see. Big, big dead eye? Almost. Uh, um, maybe a, a misclick, uh, I, I'd imagine. Um, or, or maybe anticipating Calamity to come over the edge and look for these aggressive angles, right? Uh, I can't blame Keys for it. Yeah, they'll have another one soon. You know, I definitely will agree already. We see the bomb! The speed! Uh, it's the beautiful. Bur- the Fara, oh, especially off the this edge. charge. That was just a beautiful move coming out of Iona. And that was an advantage that they were playing into that fight uh, with taking the objective. It wasn't a costly fight for them where Ryder had expended a lot of resources just to hold instead of to retake. So they're missing out on the Ant Matrix, which will be generated here very soon, but they're going to have to commit with the beat, especially since Calamity sitting on this barrage. Yeah, I agree. I mean, it is a time to set up, and they managed to pull a beautiful rotation, taking out Bean and keeping yourself alive from the Diva. That's what I'm talking about. As we see, Ryder University, they don't really have the unit to kind of push in as much as they want to, especially when Calamity is looking to bring some Breath of the Wild into your fight. You're all stacked together, and you get picked off. Now look at this. Brought it back. Builds up those ultimates. Iona, they're looking good. A calamity. That that's uh that, that's an apt name here. Uh, calamity definitely. Uh, hey, that's a that's a that's a Breath of the Wild reference. I've never played the game, uh, but I've I've heard that. Oh, calamity game. I think is what they call it. It's uh it, it's now become a real threat. The farmer see now that uh, now that Ryder's in, in control of the objective. Uh, they're they're playing into uh into a difficult position to retake. Go mid, you get barrage. Go top, you get pelted down. The high noon is still with the window. They really don't want to go through it, but the shatter just walks forward. Oh, Oblivion, oh, living up to the name and setting a name for yourself when it comes to map one. I mean, hey, Iona, bring it back, and that's one way to do it. 
that yeah. was that was pretty wild. Ryder University, after losing that objective, never really had a fight that was theirs to win. Um, and uh, and and so we talked a little bit about the strengths of this rush style composition, winning the ground war, then being able to focus on the pharmacy. But once you factor in having to retake the objective, things get a little bit more complicated. A delay in the defense matrix from Ranger ends up in the elimination of Nifty Beam, unable to uh, unable to generate that amplification matrix to make a walk to the objective be a little bit easier on Grizzly, who sustains a lot of damage. And you know this isn't necessarily you know this isn't necessarily a mistake of Ryder University, or rather just a weakness of their composition that Iona College is exploiting, and they're going to stay on this exploitative composition to uh, bring this series, uh, this map, to a close in two summons. Yeah, they are just looking to be as spammy as possible. Going into the back line, very smart decision as Ryder University, their only choice is to move forward, but unfortunately this isn't finding Dory, you can't keep swimming! As we see Iona, they manage to shut down. They get the wall, but it is going to be quickly broken. An even trade going onto the side of Ryder University, but with synergy, managing to take out the tanks and eventually the Cassidy. Oh That's goodness. what I call a beautiful take back. That poor Lucio has no idea what's going to be happening next as they fall down in Iona. They're going to be taking a point. There's a couple of things that you end up getting when you secure an elimination, um, like the early pick that Calamity had been able to get onto Twitch Yell. Uh, for one, you can see they've generated a barrage, right? Not only do you create a man advantage, but you're generating your most powerful utility on top of that. But you're also denying the opportunity for someone like Twitch you to generate their own ultimate. Now you have to compensate with a uh, uh, with you know other ultimates of your own. You lose Grizzly to an ant matrix. More than anything, that far it is still free in the sky, helping that damage keys is not going to be able to break through. Now it's just one big reset. We have to see what type of what type of adaptations they really want to be making here. Because that far it is a threat. Yeah, so you're going to see the double sh I'm sorry, the double hit scan of being opted for here by Ryder University. The problem for me is that I don't know how much value that's going to get because again, Ryder has to play for that retake and Iona College has the luxury of not having to play as a group. Meanwhile, both hit scans have to play close to each other so that they can constantly keep that far in check. I agree, and look, I mean, look at how far Calamity is freely getting that damage. The Hindu though finishes them both Beautiful. off. Oh, That's it's not so going to be looking good, especially with that wall there. It is just Ryder University. They managed to bring it back all because of Keys, Captain Keys, might I say, ringing in that damage. <laughs> Yeah, that was a fantastic dead eye, um, uh, and and that's uh, that, going back to again the strengths and weaknesses of these compositions. That's that's the strength of the rush style comp is you can find that uh, you can all play that off angle there, uh, playing for that uh, elephant there on the uh, uh, well on their left side. Um, it's a powerful position to be in, especially considering the rotations that we're seeing from Calamity, uh, who is still sitting on this barrage. Uh, they'll have to use it in, in an effort to win this next fight, um, but there's a lot more that Iowa College has to work with to secure this point. Yeah, they throw the ball. No. Grizzly? 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 My uh -oh. poor son, you managed to just die to the bomb, and now the rest of your team, they have to try and adapt and work around it, but they do put a lot of pressure onto the far mercy. They are still freely alive. He's, it's direct shot. The sound barrier is there, but the barrage looking to be set up really wants to go after that Baptiste, but they are still waiting in his return of Grizzly, but without your full unit, you have to use that visor trying to make the difference with Diva and Farah. They're on your soldier, and when Soggy not there, the barrage is free to use, and well, Iona, they're gonna be feeling proud of themselves, especially with that res. We're gonna be seeing the fight winding down as Ryder University, they at least force the time a little bit higher. Yeah, and that was that was really good from Ryder. They knew that they were coming into uh, not necessarily an ultimate disadvantage, but an ultimate storm, a, a barrage, if you will, the deluge of, uh, of of a handful of powerful abilities. So being able to bring it up to 68%, that's pretty good. But now Ryder needs to make this fight their own, play for the retake, then the hold, then figure out what they got to do for Sanctum, our next map. He's with another dead. I might be able to find two or three here. I, mean, I definitely agree, but that shatter goes through. It, it really doesn't land too much, and it seems like Keys is able to find out the Mercy more specifically. Unfortunately, they aren't going to be able to benefit off of it as Oblivion sends you to it, charges your Reinhardt. They even have the window in a very odd position, but it's mostly to take these two out, and the rematch kill to solidify oh, no. the win. Oh, that's just real. You didn't have to do it like that, Iona. I, you win the map, but honestly, 
It just took the pride away from your opponents. A little bit. Uh, and, and you know, that's the that's the troubling nature of the formation of Iona College, is Ryder University is forced into a situation where you pretty much only have the option of focusing one of the splits. And one of those splits is... Oblivion really jumped <laughs> It just works. It just the ego, works. The, the, the ego, I love it. I love to see that kind of that kind of confidence. Um so for for Ryder University, it's a it's a troubling uh